Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel of Ladies Gallery and welcome back to my gallery of all things lovely. My apologies for not posting in the past couple of days. I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold that I have. I did not have the big C word, <laughs> but I did just catch a little bit of a virus. So I've been trying to heal up from that and I haven't been posting in the past few days. So my apologies and I'm still sound a little um, nasally, but I'm back today and I wanted to share with you my whatnot haul. So if you're not familiar with whatnot, it is an app that combines pretty much like QVC and eBay, so to speak. So you would go on there, there's live sellers and you can bid for different items, different collectibles that you're interested in. Now, what I didn't know was that they have items such as Loungefly and Disney and Squishmallows. I, you know, I thought it was mostly like a Funko Pop, so to speak, kind of thing, which I think is what it originated as. So when I went on there, I was looking around, just poking around some different auctions and i came across one that had a lot of disney items and in the app it's called disneyana which is just a collection of different disney merchandise so i went on to one of the person's pages one of their shows and they were selling different items for really good prices and i made my first bid and you know what guys i won that first bid so i said this is amazing I started searching up Squishmallows and Loungefly and different Disney items and I was really surprised, really happy and really shocked with the amount of people on there that sell all of these beautiful different things. And I said, you know what, I want to start selling on Whatnot too. And you know what guys, I am now on my seventh show. So I will be doing a Whatnot show, hopefully soon. But if you are interested in following me on Whatnot, I will leave the link in the description down below. Feel free to sign up, come check it out, just come hang out. It is a live stream, so we can chit chat in the comments if you like. Um, you can bid on different items. You can then go onto different sellers streams and see what they have. So if you guys are interested, uh, the link will be in the description down below. So just as a little disclaimer, I did go a little bidding crazy on whatnot over the past couple of weeks. So I have to share with you everything from figurines to Disney plush, Disney pins, Squishmallows, Loungefly. Like I pretty much won every auction that I placed bids on. And it was so much fun and I got so many cool items so i'm gonna try and go in order of what i picked up and we'll go through the details and i'll try to create some sort of order in the way we go in like once we get into the disney pins it will just be the pins um, when i cover the squishmallows i'll try to cover all the squishmallows and when i cover the plush i'll try to stick to just the plush items so first and foremost the first item that i bid on which kind of was like a mistake bid because I went on and I really didn't know how the app was, you know, how it worked at first. So I pressed bid not knowing that I would actually win. I just wanted to see how it worked and it turned out that I won. So I won this really adorable Stitch Disney Showcase Collection figurine. And he is just so cute with the little guitar here. He's in his original box. He's in fantastic condition. And I thought that this was really, really adorable. So I'm gonna take it out so you guys can take a look. If you are Disney fans, let me know who is your favorite character in the comments. And guys, this is just so adorable. I forgot how much I bid on this for. It couldn't have been more than $5 but it is a Lilo and Stitch showcase figurine and the quality of it is really amazing. He's just sitting there with his guitar and I love Stitch. I wouldn't say I'm you know, a huge Stitch fan. I don't really collect much of Stitch. And like I said, this may have been a mistake bid, <laughs> just learning how it works. 
but I think he's really, really cute. And I'm gonna really enjoy displaying him on the shelf. I did keep him in the box so I could show him to you guys, but um, I think I'll leave him out of box when I display him on my shelves. So he is really, really cute. So once I won the stitch, I started searching different streamers and seeing what they were offering. I said, you know what, let me go into plush because I love collecting plush. I have so many. I had a plush um, whatnot stream where I was selling some of my older ones and that did really, really well. There's a lot of plush collectors and some of them price their items really well. So the second item I ended up winning was this really adorable Pooh plush. And he's from the official Disney store. So he has his Disney tag here. And I'm not sure how old it is, but I thought it was so adorable. So there's this thing that they do called winner's choice. So if you win the bid, you can just pick whatever you want from the inventory that they're offering. And I saw this little poo plush just sitting on the table and I said, you know what, I have to snag him up. And I love the little sleeping face. I love his little shirt. He's really tiny. I think I won him for a dollar. And he's just so, so cute. I'm sorry guys, I don't remember the names of the sellers or the specific stores that I was shopping from. But um, I'm just gonna show off the items that I did bid on and win in today's video. Okay, so the next item that I bid on and won is this really adorable aerial puzzle. So there was a seller on there that had a show featuring just Disney puzzles, Disney pins, uh, different Disney items. And this is my favorite picture of Ariel. If you guys are familiar with a Dooney and Burke bag that has a Ariel picture on it, it looks very similar, if not exact to this one. If anything, I'll try and put a picture of it up on the screen now. And this is a 500 piece puzzle. And I thought that this would be really pretty to display in my Disney shelf. You know, just kind of have it in the background with different items in front of it, but still have that beautiful aerial picture. I'm not gonna necessarily put the puzzle together anytime soon, but I thought that that was really cute. And that is my favorite artwork of Ariel. She looks absolutely beautiful. So just to stay on the theme of plush and different um, random items that I picked up from Disney. I got this lady plush and she is just so pretty. I've seen this in Disney stores before. I don't remember really how long ago, um, but I do remember seeing lady and she is one of my favorite Disney characters. So somebody was offering her probably around to five to eight dollars in auction. So I picked it up and she is just so adorable. She still has her Disney store tag here. So a lot of the items that you find on Whatnot, you can find new with tags, uh, vintage or even older items with their tags still. She's a really good size. And for $8, I couldn't pass her up. I said, you know what? I just have to add her to my plush collection because she is just so adorable. She's in great condition. There's no rips, there's no tears, there's no stains. Um, really in great shape, a great size. And for $8 on an auction, I mean, you can't really beat that, guys. This probably went for about $15 at the Disney store at the time. You know, nowadays, something like this would probably go for like $20, $25 in the Disney store. So to find it on whatnot and its official uh, Disney merchandise, it's just so cute. So we got Little Lady to add to our plush collection. Okay, so just to round out the little plush collectibles that I picked up on Whatnot, I did pick up this really adorable Minnie Mouse in the um, Easter Bunny outfit. She is really, really cute. Really great condition, I love the color. Here's her official Disney Store tag. And she is holding the little bunny. Really, really adorable. I love this pretty blue bow at the top and she has the pink in the ears. There is a couple of stains and things, but I think she's so pretty. And here is says Disney Store 2019, so we know that she is not necessarily an older plush, but um, she's still in really good shape. She's really, really cute. And as soon as I saw her, I fell in love with it. I'm telling you guys, my plush collection has grown so much since I started on Whatnot. And I didn't even start with the uh, Squishmallows yet, guys. So on that note, let's get into the Squishmallows. 
first one I want is this really adorable Aquatine uh, Cow Squishmallow. So there's a lot of different games and things that the sellers can play while they're doing their auctions. And one of them happened to be a mystery bag. And then you get to pick whichever bag that you like. So I picked number two and this beauty beauty was in bag number two that I chose. And she's so cute. She has the flower crown on her head. She has a little pink nose. She's pink and brown cow with the belly. Um, here's a little curly tail and she's just so soft. If you guys are familiar with Squishmallows, you know how soft and cuddly they are. I believe this is a eight inch Squish and she's just so cute. She does have her tag. It is a squish a little bit because of me. And then it has the picture here of all of the different ones that were in the collection. I don't know if the seller had these specific ones in the surprise bags that she was selling, but I did pull this one and I was so happy to because it is so cute. I guess it's a pig, not a cow. Sorry, it looks like a cow to me. But with this nose, it could be a pig. And really, really adorable, you guys. She's just so cute. And that just started off the Squishmallow obsession that I got into over the next week and a half. If you guys are familiar with the Halloween Squishmallows that came out, um, I believe it was just a couple weeks ago at Five Below. They have these like, I think they're four inches, little four inch Halloween Squishmallows. So I went to my five below and unfortunately I couldn't find any. The box was open by the time I got there. So I said, you know what, let's go on to whatnot. Let's see if anybody has these. Lo and behold, there were many, many Squishmallow shows that were featuring these Halloween Squishies. And a lot of them were not overpriced. Some of them were, you would see like $10 ones, $12 ones. These I was able to grab for about $6, which I think is fair for a reseller community, especially since they were all sold out. Um, it was really, really a lot of fun going through the different streams and trying to find the ones that I needed for my collection. So this is the first one I picked up and this is Geo, the Gargoyle. And Geo's squish date is January 25th, 2022. And this one is just so, Adorable. I love like that little concrete look. He has like little fangs with the belly. Really, really adorable wings, ears, and horn. And then back here, he's got like a little thick tail. Really, really cute. And what was really awesome when I joined uh, the stream, specifically when I found little Geo here, was I won a giveaway. So a giveaway is something that the streamers run for the people that are shopping in their stream. And they can run all different sorts of things, whatever they like, and run it as a giveaway. So you would just follow and enter, and then once everybody has participated, uh, they pick a winner. And the winner is drawn from the people that are participating in the stream at the time. So I happened to win one at the same time that I bought a uh, little geo here and I won this really cute Care Bears necklace it's really adorable it has this little flower on top it has a little uh, fuzzy Care Bear here on the bottom it's probably like flower bear or something I'm not I'm not really sure what the names are specifically for the Care Bears but guys this is so cute and I enter all the giveaways uh, whenever I'm shopping in a stream or if I'm just watching and participating I'll just enter the giveaway and this was the first giveaway that I won so I'm just gonna hold on to it because I think it's good luck <laughs> winning my first giveaway in probably about my third or fourth day on whatnot and it's really really cute so I was really really happy to win this little necklace so that's another thing uh, that's really cool with whatnot is that the sellers run giveaways and you know that gives you a chance to win something even if you're not winning the bidding or if you're not participating in the auctions you still have a chance to win the giveaway but I didn't just stop at Geo for the Halloween Squishmallows no guys I had to get all of them or at least all the ones I could find 
so the second one I picked up was the Little Blue Owl, and this one's name is Winston. So we got Winston the Owl here, and Winston's date is December 15th, 2021. And he's supposed to be like a little scarecrow. He is part of the Halloween collection. It's this really adorable scarecrow hat. I love the color of the owl, it's just so adorable. And it has the scarecrow look all the way around with the little flannel here on the bottom. Even has the little scarecrow pieces peeking out under the hat. They did a great job this year with the Halloween squish models. They are just so cute, so adorable. Couldn't pass them up. I mean, they're just amazing. Even though they're small, they're like little four inch ones. Um, it makes it easy to collect them and display them within your collection so that way they're not taking up too much space. And the third one I won uh, was Emily. Emily is a little bat in a candy corn costume and she is so squishy and so cute. I believe I also won her for six dollars and she's got the really cute bat face and then the candy corn costume continues all the way around really really adorable and all of the different squish models came from different auctions so i didn't just win um you know all of them in the same auction i participated in different streams and was able to win each squish model during a different show so here we have fifi i do have a larger 16 inch of fifi and she is just really really adorable i love her color fifi is a little fox I love her little expression. What I love the most with this little witch hat, so it has the stars with the gold um, banding here, and it has a little purple buckle. Really adorable. She's just really, really sweet, really cuddly. She's got her tail here in the back, and Fifi's squish date is 12-15-2021, the same as Emily really adorable i mean i just love all of the halloween squish mallows this year they are so cute however my favorite one and the one i probably paid for the most i think i may have bid seven or eight dollars for because i wanted it that much there was a bit not much of a bidding war but uh, just a little bit like maybe back and forth two or three times which happens on whatnot you could be bidding on something and thinking you're winning and then someone will come in and do what's called snipe which is then uh, put in their bid last second so that they could win and then the bidding goes back to 10 second countdown so I went back and forth a couple of times but I finally got cam so here is Cam. He is a vampire kitty, and I think he's just the cutest one of the bunch. He is just so adorable, so soft, so squishy, and I love the way that they designed Cam this year. So he's got his little pink nose, he's got little vampire fangs, and then the uh, strap to wrap around his little cape is embroidered here on the front, and then he's got like a velvet red cape that goes along the back so he's supposed to look like dracula really adorable cam is one of my favorite squishmallows and as soon as i saw him i said you know what let me just buckle down and see if i can win him and i did and cam's squish date is also 12 15 2021 really really adorable and a great addition to my squishmallow collection and something that I didn't know that they had this year was pails, Halloween pails. So they created, I think it was maybe two or three uh, Halloween pails that you can use to put your Halloween candy in when you go trick or treating. So as soon as I was introduced to it, I said I have to pick up one, but I didn't know which one I wanted. So I found one that was Emily, which is this little bat with the candy corn costume. They had her with a pumpkin, I believe, but somebody came and bought that one out of the stream that I was participating in at the time. So the seller had one more, and it so happened to be little Bella. 
So Bella here is a spider. This is the Treat Pale Halloween Squishmallow. And Bella is just so adorable. I love her little face. I love her little spider legs here on the side with the little red belly. She's so squishy, but she holds her shape because she is supposed to be a Halloween pail. And in the inside, if you guys can see, it's covered with a little bit of cat hair. Uh, it's just empty on the inside with like this soft kind of fuzzy material. And you can use it to carry uh, all your Halloween candy for trick-or-treating. Here's the back, so it does say original Squishmallows. The bottom is flat, and here is her tag. And Bella's squish date. Does it have here? I don't see a squish date for Bella here, but she is so cute. I think these are brand new for this year. If not, let me know in the comments if they did have these last year. Um, I'm not too sure. You may have also seen Bella here in a couple of the last videos that I posted on YouTube because I had her sitting in the background. But she's so adorable and she's going to stay out as decor for Halloween. Really, really cute, really soft and squishy. So if you guys do see the Halloween treat pails, definitely pick one up. They are so cute. All right, guys, two more little Squishmallows and then we'll get into... Um, a lounge fly bag and then we'll get into pins last because I have so many pins to share with you so on um, whatnot they have mystery bags especially for squishmallows or mystery pins with Disney lounge fly or whatever kind of mystery pins where you can open them up where the seller will open them up on camera so you can see what you won so I bought the little Squishmallow Sea Cow Mystery Capsule. And the seller opened it on camera. And I did get this little guy here. I had no idea that the sea cows were a thing, uh, but I was watching some people open them. And I said, you know what, love? I want to participate. I want to see which one I got. So I did pick up this little guy, and he's just so cute. He's super, super small, maybe like two inches. Really, really cute. And the second one that I won is this little gray one. Again, from the same seller, and it was also through the Sea Cow Mystery Capsule. She asked me if I wanted to open it or ship it. So I said, no, definitely open it on camera. I wanna see which one I won. And so I got this little gray one. Really cute, really adorable. I could just sit them in front of my collection like that, and they're just really, really cute to look at. But as promised, let's get into the lounge fly bag that I got. So surprisingly enough, Whatnot sells more expensive items such as bags, shoes, um, collectibles, vintage, you name it and it's on Whatnot. Uh, there's really nothing that you can't find on Whatnot these days as long as you find the right seller. So I was on an auction one night and they happened to be featuring some lounge fly bags. So I picked this one up for $35, brand new with tags. And I've never seen this one before. I'm not sure if it's part of an older collection or if it's the newer collection. And I just haven't seen it before on the website or in any announcements. But I thought it was so pretty. Belle looks absolutely gorgeous with all of these flowers with the two-tone colors. The blue here is wonderful. It's absolutely perfect, whether for the winter or the springtime. Um, you can carry this around all year. It's a great size. And I love that the handles flip down so that way, you know, they don't just stick up straight all the time. They do have these silver hardware metal pieces that will help keep the handles down. It does have um, an adjustable shoulder or cross body strap. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you guys with all these squishies. Uh, it does have all of the birds here on the side with the flowers, which is so cute. And then on the back, you guys may know if it's older or newer by the tag. We do have the Disney lounge fly here, and we got Chip with some books down here on the bottom. Really, really nice. A really great deal for an official lounge fly product. 
Um, if you guys are familiar with Loungefly, you know they could go up to $75, $80, $100. And to find brand new with tags, even if it is an older edition, um, for $35 is a fantastic deal. And I do just have some of my cosmetic bags in here because I was using it. So you guys are probably familiar with this one. This is the juicy one. And then I have a Disney one here that says I woke up like this with all the Disney princesses on it. So I was using it. I did transfer it into another bag. I was using this wallet here. You guys may have seen this in my previous um, Marc Jacobs video. The Minnie Mouse with the lollipops wallet. So I just left some of my cosmetic bags in here. But you guys can see just how spacious it is. It is lined with that pretty blue lining and it does have the silver hardware all around. Wonderful, wonderful bag. I love the design. I love all the flowers. I love that it was such a great deal. So if you guys are in the market for lounge fly but don't want to pay retail prices, uh, definitely check out Whatnot and see if anything pops up that you're interested in. Again, I will leave the link to my Whatnot page down in the description. So if you guys are interested, feel free to check that out. Check my shows out. Come and join me on the stream. I would love to. I would love to see you guys there. I would love to chit chat with you guys there. And you'll also get notifications when you're on Whatnot when I do go live. So you'll get a notification on the app that says Ladies Gallery is live with uh, whatever show title that I choose for that show. And if you guys are interested, just come on in. I would love to see you there. So the next item is pretty interesting. Sorry guys, I just need to take a sip of coffee. I'm losing my voice over here. Okay. So the next item is pretty interesting. I went on to one of the streamer shows and she was doing a live shopping show from Primark. So during the live show, she was walking around Primark asking people what they wanted um, and then putting the item up for sale in her menu of items. And then people would purchase the item, she would pick it up, put it in her cart, and then ship it out. Which is kind of strange, I've never seen that done before. Um, like you know, you see shop with me videos on YouTube, it's like that. But then imagine being able to communicate with that YouTuber and telling them that you want them to pick that item up and then you just buy it and they ship it to you. I thought that was really cool. That was a great idea. This is all new to me guys. So if you guys are used to this, I'm sorry. But uh, this was all new, brand new to me and I thought this was a fabulous idea. So she passed by one of these bags at Primark and I said, you know what, I have to have it. So I sent her a message, I said, please pick up the stitch bag, and she did. She did put it in her um, inventory for me to purchase, and I purchased it from her, and a few days later, she shipped it out, and it came straight to my home. I do believe she resided in Florida, so her Primark had a lot more Disney items than mine does, because my Primark has no Disney in it at all. So I was surprised to see so much Disney, there were so many great things. And um, this was so cute. We have stitch here in the front. This is all recycled material with the little squiggly lines. I love the little tag, how it has stitch and angel. I think that's so adorable. Here's the inside. So she shipped it brand new, of course, because she just picked it up in the store. It has great space in there. It is a larger cosmetic bag. Here's the bottom. And then the back is just stamped with that recyclable stamps just to show you that it is made of 100% recyclable material really cute I love stitch and I saw this and I thought that was so adorable I loved it so much that I went back on a stream when she was going through Primark and I bought a Pooh and Tigger cosmetic bag but unfortunately that one did not show up in time for me to include in the video today but Hopefully I will be making a part two and you will see it in the next video for what not haul. I told you guys I'm going to run out of space. We still have to cover the pins. I didn't even get to the Disney pins yet. And there's like no space for me to show this to you on camera. 
So I'm gonna get through the next few items and then I'll zoom you guys into my pins that I started collecting. So the next few items were like sort of an impulse um, bid for me. Uh, during a game in one of the streamers auctions, they had a Funko Pop Disney advent calendar uh, game where you could buy the little uh, Funko Pops or you could trade them for another one if you didn't want those ones. So I ended up getting Little Pooh, Little Minnie Mouse, and Little Eeyore, Little Christmas Funko Pops, and they are so small but so adorable. So the first one I picked up was Pooh. And how adorable is this, you guys? He's holding the little sack of gifts here, like Santa Claus. If you're familiar with the little Funko Pop advent calendars, you'll know the size of these little figurines. So I figured we could put these in the background of the Christmas videos, just sitting out on the desk. When we're opening up different things, we might be doing some advent calendars as we get closer to Christmas, so I think that they'd be really cute in the background. This is little Eeyore. Eeyore is my favorite poo character. And it says, Dear Santa, I've been not as bad as some, Eeyore. And then cross that, it says, Good, better than most. <laughs> Which is very true, little Eeyore. And I thought that that was adorable. And these are from the current uh, 2022 Funko Pop Disney Advent Calendar. And they are just so adorable, you guys. Here's little Minnie Mouse. I was going to stop bidding once I had Pooh and Eeyore. But then little Minnie came out and I said I have to add her. Her little stance with the pink bow. Really, really cute. Really adorable. Perfect for Christmas time and I think they'd be great to feature in the background of our Christmas videos. But let's clear up all of this goody stuff. We're gonna move all this to the side. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna take a look at some Disney pins. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys, we're back with some pins and I did just sort them out in the order I may want to put them in, but as I go over them, we may change the placement and I'll put them on the mat. I did get this pin case from Amazon and they also have different colors available, but I thought that this would be great uh, to display my Disney pin collection that I have so far. Uh, these are not all of my Disney pins, some of them are on my pin board, which is packed away as I get ready to move. So these are the new ones that I have collected from Whatnot. And there are a couple of different ones that I got from outside of Whatnot, but I'll let you know which ones those are as we go through them. So the first one I wanted to share with you is the Cruella Fig Pin. I did get this from a winner's choice during Whatnot, which is where you bid. And if you win, you get to pick whichever pin that you like. So I did see this Cruella pin and I am saving this for a Kate Spade by Cruella haul that I want to share with you guys, hopefully coming soon, maybe during the month of November. As we get closer to Christmas, I think it would be great um, to share that collection with you guys. So I wanted to save her for that collection. So here's a Cruella fig pin. And this is what she looks like. She is really cool, really pretty. All right, guys, so I'm going to take each pin out. Um, I'll let you know as we go through which one it is. I'll show you the back and then we'll put it on the back of the soft part here and let's see if we can get these pins in a really nice order okay so the first one we're going to start with uh, you guys may have seen if you watched my Disney drop video for Disney Plus subscribers this is the official Disney drop uh, collectible pin I believe it is a limited edition this is the back here it is a Disney drop exclusive so next to that we have Minnie Mouse. This is one of my newest pins and this one is just so adorable. I love her expression. I love the glitter in the background. Um, let's see what the back says. It does have all the Mickey Mouse print in the back. I don't think this is a limited edition. 
Hopefully I'll be able to grow my Disney pin collection, especially through Whatnot. Uh, they have wonderful pin games that you can play with the different sellers. Um, you can do winner's choice, uh, pick or trade. So if you pick a pin that you don't like, you can trade off of their trading board. There's all different sorts of games that you can play. And I have a lot of fun uh, interacting with the sellers and playing the different Disney games, Disney pin games. So if you guys are collecting um, pins, definitely check out Whatnot. They may have something that you're looking for. So this is the girl who has everything, Ariel pin, really adorable. And I'm not sure if this is a lounge fly or a Disney Park exclusive or anything. I can't really tell what's on the back, but this one is really nice. Okay, this one is the Cinderella shoe. I'm trying to collect pins for different fandoms that I'm really into, like uh, the Disney princesses and the Disney animals. I'm starting by collecting pins from different things that I like the most. And then I may, might branch out into different things. So this is a hidden Mickey pin, four of five. I really don't know what that means, but that's what that says. And there is a hidden Mickey here. So perhaps this may be part of the pin trading at Disney World. If you guys know more about that, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I am still learning. So any information is helpful. And next we do have Elsa with the horse. She looks really pretty. I love her dress. I believe this is from um, Frozen 2. And here is the back of the pin. I don't see anything about um, Hidden Mickey or anything like that, but it is a Disney pin. Really pretty. I like that it's a pin on pin, which means that it does have a separate pin here connected to this pin, which is the horse. So really, really nice. I love the detail in Elsa as well as the horse. This one is just really, really gorgeous. And as soon as I saw it, I said, I have to add this to my pin collection right away. <laughs> so we will put this one on the top next to the Cinderella shoe. Okay, next we have Bo Peep. Uh, according to the seller, they did say this is a vintage pin. Uh, you can definitely tell by the look that it is an old school to Toy Story pin. But I love Bo Peep's dress. I love the way that they mix the different colors with the blue, the white, and the pink, that she's holding the umbrella. This one's just really, really adorable. It does have the older backs here, but I love little Bo Peep. She's my favorite character in Toy Story. So next up, I believe this is a Fantasyland pin. Um, with Belle and Beauty and the Beast. So we have Mrs. Potts here uh, with Chip. And there's the back. It does say copyright Disney. I can't read this print back here. It's pretty hard to read. So it does say Pin Trading 2012. There we go. And I love this one. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love Mrs. Potts. This was part of a pin trading game again. Um, where you could open a box, you could keep whatever you like, or you could trade. So I did decide to keep this one, and I traded the other one that came in the pack, which was Gaston, and that's what I traded for this Ariel pin here. Okay, so we're just gonna stay on this bell trend, and I'm gonna show you the bell pin that I picked up. This one is really, really pretty. I'm not sure if this is vintage or not. Uh, it does say Pin Trading 2017, copyright Disney, that is what it says on the back. And she looks so different here, but so pretty. I'm not sure which collection this is from, but I did see this on one of the auctions. I did bid for it, and I won the auction and picked this pin. Really, really pretty. She looks gorgeous in this artwork. They did a great job. They have um, Mrs. Pot down here. They got Chip and the Rose here. It kind of looks like the mirror a little bit. Really, really nice. I like this pin. And just staying on the 
pin theme. This one I did not get from Whatnot. I got this pin from this bag here. I'm just gonna move this to the side so I can show you. I picked up this Ita bag at um, Amazon. So what I was going to do is put some of the pins in here. You can see like some of the holes that I have. I was going to put the, the pins that I got from Whatnot in here and then kind of just carry this around as my pin bag. But unfortunately I collected way too many pins to just use this bag. I think it's really pretty. We see Belle here with the roses. It's just gorgeous. Um, so I might use this for something else, but it did include this pin. And I thought this pin was too pretty not to put into the pin box. If you guys are interested in checking out that um, Bell Itza bag, I'll leave it linked in the description if it's still available. Here's the back. There's nothing official about this pin. There's no Disney branding or anything on there. I think it's just a generic pin that they included with the bag. Okay, so the last one for our bell theme is Beast Castle. So I believe this is a lounge fly pin collection that features all of the princess's castles. So this, again, this was part of one of the pin trading games on Whatnot. And I won the auction and picked this pin from the board. And here is the back. I love this castle and I thought it'd be great to go with the uh, bell collection that we're accumulating here and here is the back of the pin. It does say Disney here on the back I can't read the print at the bottom But I do believe this is an official Disney lounge fly pin if I am not correct Please let me know in the comments Really lovely pin. I love the different colors of pink and white. I might try to collect all of the castles from the Disney princesses, I'm not sure yet. But um, out of all of them, the Beast Castle was my favorite. We are going to get into a couple of the Aurora pins. So this is a Disney Sleeping Beauty Princess Aurora. And I love this. It has the castle in the back. She has a great expression. I love the border. I love the size of the pin. I love her hair, I like the detail in it is beautiful. Here is the back, this does say Disney pins, authentic Disney pins, 2022. So I believe this is new for this year. Um, if you know what collection this is from, let me know. I have been trying to find the other Disney princesses in this sort of style. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find them in any of the auctions as of yet, but I am still searching. So as I find them, I will be able to add them to the pin box. But of course, Aurora had to be first. She is one of my favorite Disney princesses. Next up, we have another Sleeping Beauty pin, but this time we have Aurora when she was Briar Rose, when she first met the prince. It has this beautiful pink sparkly background. I love the look of this pin. This was one of the first pins that I won in auction on Whatnot. Uh, and really started my search for more Aurora pins, which led me down to finding more Bell pins and so on and so forth. Uh, here's the back. It does say Disney made in China. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a vintage pin, if this is something newer or out of any sort of collection, but the gold on the prints is beautiful. She has the gold headband, the outlining. Everything about this pin is just really pretty. I don't like these little, you know, kind of backings. I prefer to have the, the, the Mickey Mouse kind of backing. Okay, so to start on the animal selection of pins, I do have the Bambi movie poster. So again, this was during an auction where it was um, winner's choice pick two. And it was between this one and a lounge fly Bambi pin. And I chose the uh, movie poster because we do have Flower, Thumper, Bambi, the owls, some birds here in the corner. I think it's really cute and it's outlined 
in like this um, sticks, wood sticks kind of design. It is a double pin, which you can see here. And this is a limited release. So next up we have Eeyore, of course we have Eeyore. Looking at his tail, he is so cute. This is one of the smaller pins that I picked up from Whatnot. This is also part of the pin trading and the date on here is 2009. So a bit of a vintage one here. Really adorable though, looks like a baby Eeyore. So if this is part of a particular collection that you know of, let me know down below. I am looking for a poo, maybe like a baby poo to match the Eeyore. So when I find him, I will also be adding him to the pin box. I may need to buy another one of these because it's filling up pretty quickly. Okay, just a couple more pins, guys, and then we'll be done for today's video. Next up, I have the hound from Fox and the Hound. His name is escaping me at the moment, but he looks so adorable. This is from the Doghouse collection. I believe this is with Loungefly. So we do see the Disney here in the back with the little crown. That's the first time I'm seeing the crown. This may be a newer collection, but this is part of the Doghouse Loungefly Mystery Box collection. I was looking for the Lady and the Tramp with Lady and in her doghouse, but I pulled the Fox and the Hound instead, and I decided to keep him instead of trading him because he is my first Fox and the Hound pin that I'm adding to my collection. Really, really cute. I love the detail on this pin. I love the color usage that they used. You know, you see him in his, like, his little boarded up doghouse when he's a puppy. Adorable. And if you know his name, please let me know down in the comments because I'm gonna wreck my brain. Todd? Is it Todd? Let me know if I'm, let me know if I'm right. Or is it the fox's name is Todd? I don't know, it's been so long since I've seen this movie. All right guys, two more pins. This one we have a lady in the raincoat. This one is actually brand new. It just came in to my collection today. Um, I believe this also may be part of a lounge fly set. I'm not too sure. We have the recycle here on the top. I'm really not sure why that is or what collection it's part of. But I couldn't pass up Lady in a raincoat. I just thought it was really adorable. And I believe I got her for like $8. I won her for $8 in the auction. So a great price for an otherwise maybe a more expensive pin. I'm not too sure of the value. I didn't look up the value of these pins um, because I'm just, I'm not really collecting, you know, to sell. I'm just collecting because I love all of these different movies and I love everything Disney. So I love Lady. Lady and the Tramp is also one of my favorite Disney movies with animals. And as soon as I saw this, I said, you know what? You gotta add Lady. So here she is. All right, guys, and last but not least, I did save my favorite and most special pin to share with you for last. I believe this came out in the D23 convention this year, according to the seller. Um, she said that's when it was released. So we have Marie here on top of these macarons. They are 3D macarons. As you can see here, they are raised off the pin. Um, they have like a soft feeling to them. This pin is absolutely adorable. The detail in Marie is amazing. And I believe I won this pin on Whatnot for 15 bucks. $15, you guys, for a brand new D23 pin. I mean, it's incredible. So here we have the limited release Authentic Disney 2022. You can see the size of this pin, it's huge. And it's amazing. I love the condition. It came in perfectly. I love the color with Marie's eyes, her little bow, the ears, the macarons are colored beautifully. You can see all the different details in here. She's so sassy with her paws crossed. I mean, I almost hit the floor <laughs> when I saw this pin on Whatnot at the price that they were selling it for. Um, I'm not too sure how much it was selling for at the D23 convention itself. Um, 
but it's definitely worth a lot more than $15 to me personally, just because I love Marie, I love collecting Marie, and to have this pin with the macarons is very, very special for me. All right, guys, but that's all I have to share with you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into all things girly and lovely. Uh, make sure to click the link down below in the description box if you'd like to join me over on Whatnot to check out some auctions, uh, check out some Disney items, check out some Loungefly. Um, you can check out some Squishmallows, whatever it is you're into, whatever it is you collect. I can almost guarantee that it will be over on Whatnot for you. Uh, so make sure to click that link down below if you are interested. But I do bag unboxings, shop with me videos, haul videos, mystery box unboxings, and pretty much everything girly and lovely. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you part of the gallery. Also, guys, we are almost at 500 subscribers. As of today, we have 20 more to go before we hit 500 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, hopefully, once we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be able to do a Q&A, maybe opening up some mini brands or opening up some mystery boxes and things like that while doing a Q&A. Uh, I may be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure yet um, how we're going to set that up. But once we get to 500 subscribers, I will let you guys know in the community tab um, what kind of Q&A we'll be doing, what we'll be doing during the Q&A, and if we will be doing a giveaway during the Q&A. So if you are interested in sticking around for that, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you part of the gallery. If you have any questions about uh, selling on whatnot, buying on whatnot, um, if I was unclear about anything, feel free to leave me a comment down below. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!